Welcome to the Wells Together video update. I'm Nicole Balza. Joining me today is Pastor Mike Adderstatter with Martin Luther College to talk about the college's two-year Equipping Christian Witnesses campaign. Pastor Adderstatter, we know that um, the Synod is struggling to be able to fill the many vacancies that we have for pastors and teachers and staff ministers. Mm -hmm. um, and the first pillar of the campaign is recruitment. What can our members do to encourage people to pursue the ministry? Excellent question. With all the vacancies for pastors and teachers, certainly recruitment is on the minds of everyone. Now, what can you do? Uh, I would say the, the first thing to do is uh, to think of what Jesus said the fields are ripe for harvest. And so let's back up a little bit and maybe not think about just vacancies. Let's think about opportunities. Where can we send people that we train? And then what did Jesus say? He said, pray, ask the Lord of the harvest. So pray, ultimately ask the Lord of the harvest for, for workers to come or for people to come and study. Beyond that, then encourage. Uh, and, and we're gonna provide opportunities for um, Wells members to submit names uh, of, of people that they think might make a good candidate for ministry that we could add to our mailing list. Uh, and then encourage uh, also, I think uh, just that, that uh, niece, that nephew, that grandson, that granddaughter, that, that young person at your church, that high school student at your church, tap them on the shoulder, say, you know, you, I think you could be a teacher or a pastor. Uh, why don't you consider going to Martin Luther College? So all of those, really. Um, again, let's, let's uh, encourage and, and um, share names and get them on our mailing list and promote uh, ministry opportunities. The second pillar is tuition assistance for all Martin Luther College students. How does this program work? Sure. The Congregational Partner Grant Program has been around a couple of years, so I'm ho hoping your listeners have heard about it. So how it works is a congregation on behalf of one of their sons or daughters sends up to $1,000 to Martin Luther College, and then we match that $1,000. Uh, so the second pillar of equipping Christian witnesses will provide us with uh, resources to be able to offer that um, for at least another five to ten years. Um, again, it, you can picture it like two buckets perhaps. You have the, the bucket of, of dollars that congregations send in on behalf of their sons and daughters, up to $1,000. Well, we have to match that. So I, the other bucket is what other individuals might give to allow us to make that match. Many congregations don't have students at MLC. This is a way they can really help with financial aid. And those, student, those congregations that do have students here, again, they can participate in both buckets of the program if God has blessed them to that level, to send 1,000 for each of their sons and daughters attending Martin Luther College, and then an additional gift to let us be the match uh, for this great program. The third pillar involves a building project on the campus. And so how exactly do a residence hall, an athletic facility, how are those things that will enhance the student's ability to be able to do ministry? Excellent. Um, students have an expectation today of facilities. Now, we have taken very good care of our facilities, but some of our residence halls are over 100 years old. Uh, the young ones are 60 years old. So, um, you know, students come with different expectations. And so having a, a more modern residence hall uh, would, uh, would really meet that expectation and it would help with recruitment. Uh, I would say regarding the, the facility, the, the athletic facility, let's focus on the fact that it'll help with student life. Uh, it, it wouldn't just be for athletes. Uh, students could go there and do all kinds of activities in the, uh, in the winter time or when the, the weather is, is, is poor. Um, and then also for Phi Ed classes, uh, that's been a challenge uh, to uh, have space to teach various coaching classes and just physical education classes. So it would, it would meet a lot of needs of a lot of students. Finally, how can Wells members and our congregations get involved in the campaign? Excellent. Uh, on a number of levels. As a congregation, we're hoping that every Wells congregation would consider a gift to equipping Christian witnesses. Um, similar to the congregational mission offering that they give every year. From their regular, proportionate, and joyful offerings, they would give an additional gift to the Equipping Christian Witnesses campaign. Also, individuals certainly can participate, and they, can, they could give a gift, uh, a general gift to equipping Christian witnesses. They could give a gift to one of the, uh, the two pillars asking for funding, so the, the Congregational Partner Grant Program or the facilities 
pillar. So really three options, and we wanted the, the individuals of Wells to have choices in the sense of what, what uh, in, in their heart do they want to give to? What does what the Lord move them to, to support, I guess is how I would say it. Thank you so much for telling us more about it, and may God bless the campaign. If you're interested in learning more about equipping Christian witnesses, visit the campaign's website at the address shown on your screen. Thanks for watching this Wells Together video update.